Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Kaizen Academy, Jack Townsend Hughes. And his opponent standing across the cage, Fighting out of the red corner, representing Fighting Fit Manchester, Mikey Bowden! Amateur featherweight contest, Dave, UKFC 3. Mikey Bowden of Fighting Fit Manchester taking on Jack Townsend Hughes of Kaiser Academy. Kaiser Hughes in the longer trunks. I, I'm looking forward to this one. I, I got to tell you, Bowden hasn't taken his eyes off Hughes since they walked down to the cage. Yeah, it looks intense, but very relaxed. Townsend Hughes both go for the side kick at the same time. Like none of the fights today have started off slow. Oh, yeah, nice little exchange on both guys there. Lots of movement so far. I get the feeling it's going to be a bit of a, a frantic one, Steve. Thinks so, that's going to be some pace. Jumps As I say to that, he looks to have that guillotine in. If he can fight that second hand in under. Feels like he's got it, looking for the pinch. Does Borden like in a bad bad spot there, but gets his head free. Does well. Very he's going nice. to get his back taken. Got both hooks in as well. Tells the news like a spider monkey. Straight away looking for the choke as well. Absolutely. And look at he's just trying to work his... Work that arm underneath the elbow to try and get to the neck. But... Good what? composure from Borden there to uh, get out of danger from the back, but gets on the mat and now Townsend Hughes inside control. Very, very smooth, Tyson Hughes. Very smooth. Yeah, in these transitions, he, he's not given an inch and he's just gone from good position to good position. Good shoulder pressure there. Borden holding on to the head at the moment. Yeah, Borden really working to kind of lock him down there, isn't he? But side control, freeze his head. And so use armbar potentially as he comes with a knee on belly. He can get that left leg over the head. Doesn't get it, but keeps that top control. Reverse triangle attempt from Borden. Yeah, it's not often we see in north-south position used very much anymore, and it's not there. But just swore, and again, beautiful into the full mount. Just stays control. Yeah, he's just a step ahead in all of these grappling exchanges, in all of the scrambles in between positions. Townsend Hughes just moves so fluidly from one to the other. And Borden, you know, half a step off, hasn't managed to catch up yet. Defending well, not giving anything up, but... Yeah, is Bowden, is he doing the right things? Is that, you know? Yeah, he's moving the right ways, but Townsend Hughes is just anticipating every direction he goes in. And, you know, that's the key. You've got two guys... Oh, oh he's he got the choke in. on there. Borden stood up with it, but it looks like the choke's on tight. Yeah, yeah and there's, there's the tap. tap. Beautiful performance there from Townsend Hughes. You know, another, an, an ex, another excellent fight here at the UK Fighting Championships. I know a one-round finish, but not because these guys were mismatched. Yeah, you got two good guys there, but Townsend Hughes puts on an excellent performance. Looks so slick, move well, and I'm, uh, I'm very impressed by that. Uh, very, like as soon as he, as soon as he got his hands on him and took him to the ground, it, it just seemed whatever position he wanted to end up in, that's where they ended up. That's what I love about it. I keep saying that's what I love about the sport. Guys just choke, choke you until you tap, just go over, shake his hand, say way done. We have a winner in this featherweight contest. Two minutes, 17 seconds into round number one. Your winner via rear naked choke in a blue corner, Jack Townsend Hughes. And keep your applause going for Mikey Bowden!